This is a demonstration of creating and adding am animation to any Corona project. Uh, this is, of course, geared towards uh, your more simplistic projects, but I think you'll find adding transitions and animation to basic projects very simple after this demonstration. We're going to start this project with our Hello World with buttons that we left off on the last demonstration. The code automatically randomly places our hello world text somewhere within the simulator and if you when you click button one it will move the hello world so in this particular project I want it to more smoothly transition that every time we click the button that instead of hello world hopping to a new place it will smoothly transition to that place now fortunately Corona has this wonderful little tool built into it that allows you to transition any type of variable that you need to do. Not only can you transition the location, but you can transition color, uh, the alpha level, so you can fade something in or out over time. It makes working with your project much simpler. Now, if you've worked with Flash in the past, you should be familiar with the concept of tweening. What the transition command does inside of Corona is very much like tweening in Flash. So let's go ahead and do our first transition for this particular project. I'm going to go to my function, my button tap, and in this particular function I'm going to add the command transition to and then tell it what object I'm going to be working with. So in this case text object and then we need to set up an array of information that we're going to pass to it. In this array is going to be any property that we want to affect, affect of the text object. Now specifically I want to affect the X and the Y properties, moving the X and Y to their new locations. So I'm going to put a curly bracket and a closed curly bracket and close parenthesis and then everything that I'm going to insert is going to be between the curly brackets changing those particular properties. Oh, and we do need to set a time variable as well. How long do we want this to take to move from point A to point B? So I'm going to set the time to 1000 milliseconds or one second. So that will create this animation over one second period of time. Now of course we could shorten this by reducing the value or increase it if we need to as well. Then we're going to set the variables that we're going to change. Now specifically we are changing the X and Y location of the text object. So I can simplify this by just a little bit by just simply highlighting it and pasting it in here. So I'm going to change the X and I'm also going to change the Y. I'm going to put this on separate lines so it's a little easier to read. Of course it doesn't have to be over separate lines but for viewing over the computer this should make it a little bit easier to see. All I've done is just simply transition or move this information from the one location to another. Now I'll do a save and our application should be ready to go giving us a smooth transition from its original location to a new location. So we'll do a relaunch and hit our button. And as you can see, it is transitioning both the X and the Y property. Now, I don't have to do both X and Y. I could do any variable that I want that is a property of my text object property. Obviously, I can change the, um, the color of my text object property. I can change the alpha, any property that you want to change. But that provides... Now this provides a very simple method to quickly and easily create transitions within your environment, making it a little bit more visually appealing. 